Right, so I bought this guitar. But I didn't realize that when I bought it, I brought it home and it absolutely reeks of tobacco. So now I've got to think of a, a way of doing something about it. And I came up with this idea of putting it in to wood shavings for initially a um, thought of four weeks but uh, what I ended up doing was a week and then changing it over and then another week so we're going to have a look see at how this turned out to a sawmill today to go and pick up um, some sawdust. I've got a project. I bought this Martin guitar and it stinks of cigarettes. But not just your normal smell, it's been in a very small room with a chain smoker so it smells terrible it's almost nauseating so I'm gonna go and get um, get some big bag of shavings that I'm gonna bury this thing in and see if I can get rid of some of this stench anyway so this place I'm going to I'm gonna do a little bit of work for him uh, in lieu of a bag of wood chips, well, wood shavings rather than chips. So we don't have that far to go. That's where we gotta go. I am I've just come off the A38, which is the the road between Plymouth and Exeter and uh, we are now travelling towards the moors the famous Dartmoor moors towards a town I can't remember what the town's called now. It's very difficult. Towns in England have not got easy names. There we are, we've got some sort of restriction out here. So, there we go. There's a bit of old England there if you want to see it. There we go. I think we are on the right track here. We are. It's going to be jumping around a bit because I haven't got it fixed. I'm just in it. Because these narrow lanes, you've got to be so careful. Car's coming the other way, you can't rush. In the background here, we've got uh, the late great John Martin from his album Solid Air so yeah we're just going to take it easy that old oak in the winter and here we 
going through some and this would look stunning in the spring and in the summer you know the trees are also beautiful in the winter and, uh, you know that's oh there's a whole lot that have been cut down that's quite surprising you don't often see that in england uh, trees being cut down for pasture obviously or for some reason Those are all beech trees over there. Beech and that's an oak in front of us there. Big old oak. Some sheep. corner here come some some bicycles these you see a lot in England see everybody loves bicycles especially uh, Jeremy Clarkson there's a river down there which wasn't able to to show you some sort of quarry going on over here so there we are I think you've seen enough of uh, you've seen enough of English roads I'll let it uh, all right so we've Got to this village now. You can see it's rather rather small here. Yeah, you go through the village. painless so let's have a look what we've got yeah, that's what we've got a big bag of sawdust so went to sawmill and I looked at his forklift and unfortunately I didn't shoot any footage of it but the, my, the slab cylinder on the wheel had gone so there wasn't much I could do so we'll, we'll come back to this in a second. Alright, so here we go. Start putting the shavings down. Here is the tar, and it stinks. 
it stinks of cigarettes. Right. So now, this is a Martin, US made Martin DC16 GTE. Spruce top, mahogany sides. I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to put some of this inside because I don't want I don't want shavings going inside the guitar. So I'm just gonna pop a whole lot of this here and just create a little bit of a block there. And I'll do the same on the and cover the electronics on this side the um, preamp by just taking a bit of that putting it underneath the guitar putting it over there and that can just go in there right so we've got this Oh, pretty much. Okay. Now we can start putting some more shavings right throughout. Now this these shavings I got from a sawmill. They've been tested between 12 and 15 percent humidity. They're not wet. They are, are dry ish so it's not going to pull too much humidity out of the guitar but the, the idea is to pull the scent out of the guitar um, and to infuse some of this beautiful natural um, this is uh, Douglas fir, a little bit of uh, um, beech, there's oak in here, um, and there is some cedar, and even some uh, redwood, Californian redwood, they also um, know, but these are British grown. Squares, not uh, not native trees, right? And this company that uh, that I got these from, all of their timbers are locally sourced. None of them are are uh, 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 are any. They don't. There's no strip uh, forestry going on. These are deadfalls. And commercially grown trees. Uh, there's also larch. Larch is one of the the other. The larch is the only deciduous conifer. So we'll continue doing this, and then I'll lift up the side, and we'll make a mummy out of it. Right. Okay. So now we're going to put some more. Put 
Got it all cocooned, and when the sun comes up, we'll have a, a grand opening in the next episode, and we'll see if we've got rid of the smell. All right, so there we go. We don't see. So doesn't want me to show you how I packed it, but I'm going to show you. See. It's under the couch. <laughs> nicely, it fits nicely in under there. I mean, we live in England. You don't have any place for anything. It's not a, like the US where you've got piles of space. Or in, uh, in other parts of the world. So there we are. It's there. And of course... All the washing is here as well. Uh, there's the, the uh, TikTok clock that I bought for five pounds and repaired it. Works like a bomb. I mean, better than a bomb. It, does, it doesn't Do blow. Do you keep this paper? No. Okay. I, I, well, I suppose we can, but... I won't burn it, because it can go in recycle. Yeah, it, it can recycle. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll come back. I've got, a, I've got a lot more left. So if I need to, I'll do, I'll do it all over and over again until I get that thing smelling like a, a, a new forest. Okay. Well, we do it that way around. It doesn't really matter which way the thing is, I suppose. But what I did in here is I put some in here as well. Put a little bit in there. I haven't put any in there, but I put some uh, paper in here with a bit of. So I'm pretty sure that this didn't smell as bad because it wasn't open, you know, as as exposed. But it still, it, it smelled. And if you put the guitar back in, you know, obviously it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna get get the stink back into it. So at the moment, it's. It smells fine. It, it, it smells alright. It's, it's a little bit and I might uh, get some... Getting it out of fabric is more difficult. Uh, I might get some carpet foam when I'm finished with this and uh, leave this in here for a few more days and uh, give it another clean and see how we go. But it's, it's not so bad. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so then, as you can see, what I did is I took the guitar off, I ran out of battery, so I couldn't show you. Um, I took the guitar off, renewed it so that it's not the same shavings on the guitar. Um, so we can have a look. Yeah, you can see the strings are... are not rested or anything so 
this is really quite dry um, and they're not adding moisture to the guitar at all so I have now mixed it up so that I can't smell anything here except the beautiful pine smell so continue now to um, wrap it up again and put it away for another two weeks and I'm sure after that it'll be fine the smell will be gone Right, so we'll see when that's all done. Okay, so here we go. We're going to wrap it up with some string. So there we go. There's our bundle. We go back under the couch for another another week I think and then I think it'll be fine right so we're gonna go and get the guitar now out of here it's been another week so gonna get it out I think I'll have to hand hold it a bit for a while while we get this all off. So anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. Well, we can get the guitar out of here now. down and <laughs> it's a huge improvement but I have to say I can still smell a little bit of tobacco but nothing anywhere near like what it did and you can see the strings right so they've discolored a little bit but not that bad and we'll just take this, take this out Sad. Mm. Right, as you can see in there, right, there's a little bit of stuff in there, but I'll, I'll prove that out.
Guys. So it works. There's no doubt about it, it works. As you can see, haven't got anything in there because it's pretty well protected. So have a look inside, you can see that we didn't get any dust in that either. So It's a good plan. It works. Does the, the guitar no harm whatsoever? It hasn't even, well, it's hardly even rusted the strings. <laughs> 